What is going on ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with another edition of 90 Day Fiance and this one is all about the cast members who nearly got themselves deported and in my opinion should have been deported or at least some of them anyway. But before we get into it, let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the freaking channel. Now with that being said though ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start this one off with well... <sighs> this guy actually really did get on my nerves. I didn't like him one bit, but to be fair, at the same time, nor did I like the actual couple themselves in particular. But we're going to start off with Mohammed and Danielle, as you can see right now on your beautiful screens. And as you can see, this is the couple. Now, when it comes to Danielle and Mohammed, this is a couple that I met that, that we met a few seasons back. Now, when it came to Danielle and Mohammed, it was very, very clear straight off the bat that Mohammed had no intentions whatsoever of actually falling in love with Danielle, and he didn't even love her at the time. He may have said a few things here. Here and there but everything he was saying was all a part of his game for what game though to get himself in the united states of america now sadly for daniel she just had to be the pawn in the game but at the same time though daniel obviously put herself in the situation when in reality despite daniel's actions and, and daniel being so gullible the thing that really irritates me the most about their story is that once Miami came out to admit that he never found her attractive and then also continued to insult her in other disgusting ways the matter of fact is Daniel had the opportunity to take away his ability of staying in the United States of America. But instead of doing that, she decided just to give him a normal divorce, which therefore still allowed him to be able to stay in the United States of America. So therefore, that means Danielle ended up taking the L, when in reality, she could have taken the win. But instead of taking the win, she gave the win to Mohammed. <sighs> You know what, to think though sometimes there are so many people who we find in the United States of America who are hard working people but get deported anyway, but then you get people like him who came on, used a woman and still, be, was, and still was able to stay. But hey man, the mental mind, when someone's manipulated you, it can do crazy things. But nonetheless though, ladies and gentlemen, we're now going to move on to the next couple. Oh yes, Colty and Larissa. Obviously, the name is Cole, but you know Larissa. Colty. <laughs> but nonetheless, though, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to Cole and Larissa, Larissa is someone that huh, I don't know how she's even still in the United States of America at this moment in time, to be honest with you, because literally when they were together, this woman was arrested, was arrested on three different occasions, and they're all for the same bloody thing: domestic violence towards her husband, Colt. And to think that she was still able to stay in the United States after th not one, not two, but three freaking offensive offenses. You think to yourself, hold on a minute, how is she still here? But we've got so many hardworking people that do come in legally, but still do make a massive contribute to the United States of America. But yet, you know, they'll sit there focused on trying to get them out rather than trying to get out trash like Larissa. I mean, I hate to say it, but she is absolute trash because her attitude, her behavior has never really been anything exciting. But don't get me wrong though, there was a lot of things that she did bring to the show that was quite good to be fair with you. I mean, like, for example, exposing uh, exposing Debbie. And, I mean, listen, we're looking at Colt's life now. He's been with Larissa. Then it was Jessica. Yes. And then now he's Vanessa. And all three women have had the same thing to say about Debbie. But at the same time, though, the matter of fact is, though, it doesn't change the fact that Larissa was arrested on three different occasions. Now, of course, a lot of people sit and say, well, a lot of those things were just alleged allegations and X, Y, blah, 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 blah. But the matter of fact is, though, she was arrested on three different occasions. That is more than enough, if not one wasn't enough, for someone to be deported because at the end of the day, she's coming to the United States of America and she's not doing any good. And to be honest, with, since she's been on there, all she's ever done is got one job after another job after another job. And sorry, hold Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. And when I say a job, I don't mean a working job. I mean one job, followed with one job, another job, if you understand what I'm saying, okay? And the fact is, for me personally, I am very disappointed in the in the ICE, which is the US Immigration Customers in, Customs Enforcement. Honestly, 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 how she's still here is beyond me. But again, she's another one who was nearly, nearly deported for her antics of being a uh, very unpleasant human being and also very triggering human being and let me not forget and let's not forget ladies and gentlemen if the shoe had been on the other side let's say colt was the one who was from brazil and she was the one from america and he got arrested on three occasions best believe just that first occasion alone would have got him sent straight back to brazil but this is the problem of society different rules for different genders like come on what happened to equality
Eh, I guess that was a Mephisto in particular, but nonetheless though, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to the next couple. Now, here we have Jay and Ashley. And to be honest with you, I hate to say this, but as a black man, this guy disappointed me, man, because as far as I'm concerned, if you know what I'm talking about, I mean, obviously, if you're a someone of color, you would know exactly what I'm talking about. But here's the thing, though, you know, when somebody goes on the screen as a black person, they behave in a certain stereotypical way, it always makes us all look freaking bad. Yes, I've gone down that route because I just have to, okay, because it disgusts me, okay? Not all black men are like this waste man, okay? This guy is a complete plonker. What he was, what was he thinking? I don't know. But the matter of fact is, Jay is a brother all the way from freaking Jamaica and he's someone that decided to find a way to go to the United States of America and how did he do that he found a very very beautiful young lady called Ashley key thing keyword beautiful okay and the fact is though I don't know what the issue was but the matter of fact is this guy was one very young and two too eager and too hungry to explore his royal oats, shall I say. And because of his age and because of his immaturity and his hungerness, the second that he landed in the United States of America and he got that flipping marriage visa, K-1 visa, X, Y, Z, what happened, ladies and gentlemen? He then decided to jump straight on those dating apps, started shopping around like he was some sort of playboy, as if he was Hugh Hefner, RIP the man himself, Oh my goodness gracious me. You know when sometimes in life people have a very good opportunity in front of them but they, they just ruin it. And when I say opportunity, I'm just trying to say that at the end of the day, Ashley wasn't exactly, you know, an ugly woman or necessarily like a train wreck or X, Y, Z. She had her, she had her challenges here and there. But the matter of fact is, though, she was someone that a lot a lot of men out here would look at and be like wow what a perfect bride. Oh my goodness gracious me. I wanted to, I wanted to be the mother of my children but no, no. No, hungry young freaking Jay Stinking Smith decided to go on dating apps, then cause a whole kerfuffle between them, which therefore meant that their marriage was very short lived. And then it's all, and then also on top of that, not only did he end up getting, not only did she end up divorcing him, which allowed him to stay in the United States of America again, which shouldn't have happened, but then on top of that, he was then given a restraint order, which he then violated. And you're thinking at that point, okay. You've been given a restraint order, you violated. So why are you still here in the United States of America? And it's really, really interesting because I find that the more, what's the word I'm looking for here? I just find that the nicer you are as a person, the harder it's going to be for you to go to the United States of America and actually get a freaking visa. But the more of a horrible, stinking, disgusting, blah, blah, everything kind of person, the easier it is for you to stay. I mean, look at it this way, for example. Me, myself, in particular, I'm a nice guy. And I ain't, I'm definitely never going to want to marry someone just so I can move to the United States of America or any other country, right? But I would love to go there for at least a couple of months, maybe six months to a year or something. Live the life. See what it's like. Really help really help grow my network but here's the thing ladies and gentlemen i'm too nice so if i went there they'll tell me to piss off but this guy here oh yeah he can go there and do what he likes in, in, including all the other cast members that we have spoken about so far which brings me to the next one and the last one that we're going to be talking about and this one is something particular to be honest with you i hate to say it, but there's only one reason why she's still in the united states of america at this moment in time in my opinion but um Let's get into this couple, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Natalie and Mike. And this couple right here, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> if you didn't realize that these two should never got married in the first place straight off the bat, then I don't know what you was watching because to be honest with you, their relationship was screaming more red flags and red flags themselves in particular. And that makes no sense whatsoever. But again, their relationship was screaming more red flags than red flags themselves in particular. Okay, it sounds good, so I'm going to say it again. Nonetheless, though, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to these two in particular, the matter of fact is, though, even though they were legally married, or probably still are legally married, the problem is, is though, is that on the most recent season of Nine Day Fiance, The Single Life, the reunion, Mike popped up on the screen, and he was like, I'm so, I never actually filed for your green card. So the matter of fact is, at this moment in time, whilst they're legally married, as far as I'm concerned, once they get that divorce, Natalie's immigration status is going to be up in the air. But of course, at this moment in time, she's still in the United States of America simply because they are one, still married, and two, in my opinion, personally, because of everything that's happening right now with Ukraine and Russia, I couldn't see them sending her back at this moment in time anyway, even if they had already got that divorce. But I would like to think and imagine by now, they probably would have got a divorce by now, but you know, something else happening. But the matter of fact is though, it is now proven that when you go on 90 Day Fiance, once you get that green card, 
whatever card you get, it seems as if once you get it, you can't really lose it because we've seen F up after F up after F up after freaking F up throughout this whole freaking episode. Ladies and gentlemen, the proof is in the freaking pudding and all of these people are still here. And if you ask me personally, a lot of them were at least now, every single one of them don't deserve to be United States of America because, to be honest with you, especially after watching Natalie in the most recent season of The Single Light, it was very clear that all she was trying to do was look for her playboy, for her rich guy, you know what I mean? Hashtag Jesse. I mean, listen, a lot of people don't like Jesse, but she's a narcissist. I agree with you. Don't get it twisted. But I generally believe that she wants a man exactly like Jesse who can give her everything that she wants. Because as far as I'm concerned, the way she was eyeing him up on that show and targeting him to let us know tomorrow, it told me that she was just simply jealous of what's her name again jasmine no oh crap what's the name oh who's jasmine that is jasmine yeah it's jasmine if it's not a single yeah yeah it's hard to remember everyone's name you know there's so many there's been so many seasons okay ladies and gentlemen please just give me a break gosh Guys, all this stuff, it's okay. I can forget things, you know. Come on. <laughs> anyway, with that being said, though, that is all the couples that we have. Uh, that's all the couples I have for you today, ladies and gentlemen. And as far as I'm concerned, these are the cast members who should have been deported but haven't been deported. And it's so sad because there are so many hardworking people who get deported every single day from the United States of America, from the UK and other countries who do actually go there to make a difference, not only to their own lives, but to the country themselves in particular. But then, hey, they still get a slap in the face. And I get it, rules are rules, but the fact is this though, you can't give one rule to someone else, but then give a different rule to someone else, if you dig what I'm saying. And that is where the problem lies, and lies that the rules are just too busy, tampered with and broken all the time for favours and X, Y, Z. But nonetheless though, maybe I'll go 9 day fiance and get myself a visa, yeah. Clearly if I can go there, if I mess up, I'll, I'll, I'll be fine anyway, yes, ooh, yes. Any, anyone want to be a nine day fiance V? Huh? I'm kidding, man. Calm yourself down. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm okay where I am. But nonetheless, though, thank you so much for your time, ladies and gentlemen. Like, subscribe, and peace.